All right, we're back with another free code cam javascript project tutorial this time we're going to be building a roman numeral converter so i already did the project just to show proof if i run the test and wait here's the javascript a little bit of the javascript right there if i run the test there you go it's pass and here's how it works so let's say i want to convert 9 into a roman numeral convert ix Let's say 800, 800, there you go, convert it, and whatever, oh yeah, please enter a number less than that, get to 0 or 8, whatever, there we go, so that's what, that's what we're going to be building today, let's get started, and as usual, GitHub repo is in the description down below, if you want to copy the code, follow along, whatever, alright, so as usual like the last project we're just going to focus on the javascript because that's all that matters so again copy this html line by line these three elements you have to um you need them along with their respective ids because you need those to pass like the first few tests let's get started with javascript now so what we're going to do is that we're going to um create variables in order to get these three elements to input the button and the div so i'll just copy and paste that there you go so that's all we need number convert button output whatever we need those afterwards we want to create a function called convert roman actually convert to roman and then what we're going to do is that you see these um, Roman numerals right here, the symbols? We're going to store it in an array. So, const Roman symbols, right? Create a variable like that. Equal square brackets. And then just these Roman numerals, just put them in an array. All right, just like that. And then now, I want to create our next variable to store the Arabic numerals or the values. So again, cons, this time Roman values. All right, now that we have them in an array, I want to create our next variable called let Roman numerals. Oh, sorry, new Roman numeral equal blank. We need this in order to initialize it. Um, we'll see later when we create the for loop part. Right. Now, this is where the logic comes in. So create a for loop now called for i or let i equal to zero. i is less than Roman. Let me see Roman values dot length i plus plus in square brackets. Make this bigger or remove preview. And then what we want to do now is to create a while loop. So this is while our number dot value is more than or equal to roman values index i inside there we're going to say roman numeral plus equal roman symbols index i and then down here we're going to say number dot value minus equal roman values index i and then also below the function make sure I check the tn dot add let me see our quick convert to roman so does the algorithm work right here how does this work well oops well the way it works is that it's going to loop through um yeah it has a for loop right and the main logic is in this while loop so you realize that it says number dot value which is basically the value of the input more than or equal to um whatever the index is of i so the way it works is this let's say we input 3000 right what it's going to do is that it's going to loop through find which um value is more than 3000 
Or mitigate, a mitigate example to make it easier. Um, 300. Let's say, wow, 300, right? It's gonna loop through, find which value is more than 300. So, or sorry, which value is less than 300. So 300 is more than 100, right? So what you'll do is that, you'll recognize that, and then based on that, it will add the symbol that corresponds with the value, so it'll be C, and then after that, it's going to minus it by the value that it is more than. So it's gonna take away 200, which will add C again, then it's gonna take away 100 again, which would add C, when that's done, we're going to, under the for loop inside the function, we're going to say output dot inner html equals to roman numeral semicolon. And that's why we have roman numeral because this is what's going to store um, our answer when the number that we inputted gets current converted into a roman numeral. All right, now that that's done, we just need to do a few more things. One of the tests needed is that, let me show you. So we need a couple of errors to happen. So when you click on the convert button element, we'll enter a value into the number element. The output element should contain a text. Please enter a value number. Next one is when the number contains the number negative one and the button is clicked, it should say, please enter a, a number greater than or equal to one. And when we input 4,000 or basically anything greater than 3,999, it should say this. So I went on a few errors. So at the top here above the array, if number dot value is equal to blank, sorry, equal blank, I want to say output dot inner HTML equals to what it says right here. Please enter a value number. Then we're gonna say else if number dot value is less than one. I'm gonna say output dot in the HTML is equal to don't forget the semicolon actually is equal to What's, what do they say? Paste right here. And then down here, I'm just gonna say if number dot value is greater than that 3999, we're gonna say same exact thing. Um, it should say semicolon. So there we go. And that right there should do it so preview so let me say if we let's say do 800 convert oh wrong wrong um element convert button let's try was thinking about let's try it again so 800 convert there we go now it works let's say if we do zero convert doesn't give the error for some reason all right, one way to fix it is just to do return because I think because um, if you don't do return, then when we click on it, because you have to remember that output is in like the global scope. It's not in like a scope like in the for loop or, you know, in like a if statement. So you basically have to return so that way it just, I guess it like stops it or something like that. Oh no, that's how it works for me. So if you preview it, convert, please enter a value number, negative, whatever that is, number greater than that. If it's 6,000, there you go. So yeah, that's it. If you press eight, and you realize the arm that every time you enter, it just converts it back to zero. To fix that, just um, above this number dot value equal blank.
semicolon. So if we do whatever that is, blank. And yeah, that is it. So if you run the test, there you go. It's done. So yeah, I'm 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 bad at explaining things, so hopefully you understood how to do the project again. GitHub in the description and that's it. <laughs>